Hi everyone, Kate here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a classic Victorian era cold cream. This simple recipe uses only four or five ingredients and produces a rich emollient cream. This particular formulation was based off one from The Home Guide, which was published in 1877. While there is some variation in other publications in terms of the proportion of oils, waxes, etc., this one is very much in line with your typical standard Victorian cold cream. They really don't differ all that much, although the changes in ingredient proportions can affect the thickness of the final product, with this particular recipe leaning more towards a thinner, more spreadable cream. So without any further ado, let's get started. For this recipe, you will need two fluid ounces of sweet almond oil, one fluid ounce of rose water, although you can also use distilled water or another floral water such as neroli if rose isn't quite to your taste, half a fluid ounce of jojoba oil, I'm using this as a modern alternative to spermaceti, and 0.14 of an ounce of beeswax. This last measurement is by weight, so use a small scale for this. Victorian beauty product recipes nearly always measure the liquid ingredients by volume and the solid ingredients by weight, unlike modern formulations that typically use either one or the other. The last ingredient you may wish to add is a broad spectrum preservative. This is a modern addition that will give your skin cream a significantly longer shelf life. If you choose to omit it, I would recommend storing your final product in the fridge to help keep it fresh for longer. Set a bowl over a pot of simmering water to form a double boiler. To this bowl, add everything but the preservative and stir occasionally until the beeswax is fully melted. Once you have a smooth liquid, remove the cold cream from the heat and stir until cooled. A spoon, an egg beater, or even an ice cream churn was used for this historically, but I prefer to use an electric mixer. It cools the cream faster and requires significantly less elbow grease. at this point, you will also want to add in the preservative if you're choosing to use it. The amount will vary by brand, but most have about a 1% usage rate. I'm using Optifin Plus for my preservative, as it is both paraben and formaldehyde free. To figure out how much preservative to add, I weigh the amount of product in the bowl, and then deduct the weight of the bowl, which I measured earlier when it was empty. Then I take the number of just the cream and multiply it by 0.01 to get approximately 1% of your formula by weight. Now this isn't quite 1% of the full formula mathematically speaking, but it is the simplest way to do the calculation, especially when you don't have a calculator handy and it should fall within the usage rate range. Add the preservative using a scale and an eyedropper to ensure you add the correct amount. Continue to mix the cream until it is fully cooled and thickened, and then just scoop it into a jar. The final product is very moisturizing and has a gentle rose scent. The thickness is more like that of a lotion, but with the richness of a traditional cold cream due to all that almond oil. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's it for now. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! This video is made possible through the generous support of my Patreons. Thank you, and special thanks to my Bees Knees Patreon, Stone Gaspin.